This is Paul. Paul has cystic fibrosis. So Paul, how does cystic fibrosis affect your everyday life? It affects my everyday life because I have to do at least three hours of treatments every day. I have to, I have to take 15 pills a day uh, and I have to do a lot and a lot of exercise every day. How has this impacted your family life? I used to impact my family life early in my years when I was around two because uh, I was very, very sick around that time. We had no idea what I was going through. Uh, and and we found out that I had cystic fibrosis, and so since then we've actually been doing, uh, we've actually been adapting to the disease uh, very well, and we've been uh, progressing in my health. Um, do you find that people treat you differently when they find out that you have CF? Uh, only in the first like ten seconds, because they because everyone thinks that it's contagious. But I try to explain to them, it's not contagious, you only get it when you're at birth. I can. CF obviously isn't easy, and you've probably experienced some tough times. What helps you get through it? Uh, during tough times, I usually just listen to music, or I do some homework, or I just relax with my friends and just enjoy life. <clears throat> Have there been any instances where you legitimately feared for your life? Uh, not recently, but when I was six, I was incredibly ill, and I had to stay in the hospital for six months. Uh, but, like, I've been at the top of my health since then. What are some of your goals in life? Uh, my goals are pretty ordinary, just like getting married, having children, have a good house, have good income, kind of thing like that. But uh, I also want to be an NHL referee, uh, so that's one of the out-of-the-ordinary goals, too. For everyone that is watching, how can they help this cause and what can they do to make a difference? Uh, what everyone can do is donate to the online website at cysticfibrosiscanada.ca uh, and you can donate as much money as you want. Uh, it really help like millions of children in Canada with this uh, terrible disease.